Any more stupid questions? You in the mouth. Come on, enough of this God damn it! Get the f mm. Okay, go there. <coughs> now get a break. Come on, just poke your fucking head out. Where's this last asshole? Come on. Shepard. I'm looking for evidence to prove Sarah's a traitor. 
then I have a chance to repay you for saving my life. But not here. You need to go somewhere safe. The ambassador's office. Safe there. You don't want to see this anymore. You're not making my life easy, Shepard. Firefights in the wars and all-out assault on Korra's den. Do you know how many? Who's this? The Quarian? What are you up to, Shepard? Making your day, Ambassador. She has information linking Saren to the gap. Really? Maybe you'll get a start at the beginning, Miss... My name is Tali. Tali Zora Narada. We don't see many Quarians here. Why did you leave the flotilla? I was on my pilgrimage, my rite of passage into adulthood. Tell us what you found. During my travels, I began hearing reports of Geth. Since they drove my people into exile, the Geth have never ventured beyond the veil. I was curious. I tracked a patrol of Geth to an uncharted world. I waited for one to become separated from its unit. Then I disabled it and removed its memory core. I thought they get fried their memory cores when they died. Some kind of defense mechanism. What did you find out? Most of the core was wiped clean. But I salvaged something from its audio banks. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. That's Saren's voice. This proves he was involved in the attack. He said even Prime brought him one step closer to finding the conduit. Any idea what that means? The conduit must have something to do with the beacon. Maybe some kind of Prothean technology. Like a weapon. Wait, there's more. Saturn wasn't working alone. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. I don't recognize that other voice, the one talking about Reapers. I feel like I've heard that name before. According to the Memory Corps, the Reapers were a hyper-advanced machine race that existed 50,000 years ago. The Reapers hunted the Protheans to total extinction, and then they vanished. At least, that's what the Geth believe. Sounds a little far-fetched. The vision on Eden Prime. I understand it now. I saw the Protheans being wiped out by the Reapers. The Geth revere the Reapers as gods, the pinnacle of non-organic life. And they believe Saren knows how to bring the Reapers back. The Council is just going to love this. The Reapers are a threat to every species in Citadel space. We have to tell them. No matter what they think about the rest of us, those audio files prove Saren's a traitor. Captain's right. We need to present this to the Council right away. What about her? The Quarian. My name, name is, is Dally! <laughs> you saw me in the alley, Commander. You know what I can do. Let me come with you. I'll take all the help I can get. Thanks. You won't forget this. Oh, yeah. Henderson I'm gonna pork you later. <laughs> Alrighty. De, de, de. Forgive the intrusion, but I have nowhere else to turn. It's no trouble. What can I do for you? My wife was a Marine. She was in the 212 on Eden Prime. I've requested that my wife's body be returned to me for cremation, but the military has refused my request. Why did they refuse your request? There's got to be some reason. I don't know. All I know is that they have declared it impossible for my wife to be returned to me. There's no reason for your wife's body to be held like this. Just wait here. The man in charge of my case is Mr. Bosco. When I last saw him, he was in the expensive bar over there. 
thank you for your time. I just want to give my wife a proper funeral and the respect she deserves. Oh no shit. Your activities made for quite a briefing in the diplomatic corps. Is there something I can do to assist you? Yes. A man named Samesh Batya is having some trouble claiming his wife's body. Ah, Mr. Batya. A good man in an understandably frustrating position. I wish I could help him. Serviceman Narali Batya died on Eden Prime, as Mr. Batya no doubt told you. Her wounds are inconsistent with any type of weapon damage we've seen before. That is why her body is being held. You're studying her injuries to learn more about Geth weapon. The tests we're conducting may lead to better defenses against Geth attacks. Respectfully, Serviceman Batia may save more lives in death than she did in life. I understand what you're trying to do, but holding the body is wrong. Commander, you of all people should understand how far we must go to protect humanity. Not if we lose our humanity in the process. I'm out there fighting to stop crap like this. All right, Commander. You win. It was hard enough refusing Mr. Bhatia. I'm not going to risk an incident by refusing you. Tell Samesh that the body is being shipped back to Earth. I'll go now to see to it myself. <clears throat> there we go. Let's eat. Mr. Bosker, what we're fighting for. Your wife is coming home. Thank you. I will return home and begin my preparations. It does not bring me happiness, but it may bring me peace. <laughs> Goodbye, Commander. Oh, that went well. Sidium. is irrefutable, Ambassador. Saren will be stripped of his Spectre status, and all efforts will be made to bring him in to answer for his crimes. I recognize the other voice, the one speaking with Saren. Matriarch Benezia. Who's she? Matriarchs are powerful Asari who have entered the final stage of their lives. Revered for their wisdom and experience, they serve as guides and mentors to my people. Matriarch Venezia is a powerful biomech, and she has many followers. She will make a formidable ally for Saren. I'm more interested in the Reapers. What do you know about them? Only what was expected from the Geth Memory Corps. The Reapers were an ancient race of machines that wiped out the Perkins. Then they vanished. The Geth believe the Reapers are gods, and Saren is the prophet for their return. We think that Kundu is the key to bringing them back. Saren's searching for them. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Do we even know what this conflict is? Saren thinks he can bring back the Reapers. That's bad, <laughs> bad enough. <laughs> Listen to what you're saying. Saren wants to bring back the machines that wiped out all life in the galaxy? Impossible. It has to be. Where did the Reapers go? Why did they vanish? How come we found no trace of their existence? If they were real, we'd have found 
of something. I tried to warn you about Sarah, and you refused to face the truth. Don't make the same mistake again. This is different. You proved Sarah betrayed the We all agree he was using the gas to search for Congress, but we don't really know why. The Reapers are obviously just a myth, Commander. A convenient lie to cover Seven's true purpose. A legend he is using to bend the gift to his will. 50,000 years ago, the Reapers wiped out all galactic civilization. If Saren finds the conduit, it will happen again. Saren is a rogue agent on the run for his life. He no longer has the rights or resources of a Spectre. The Council has stripped him of his position. That is not good <laughs> A fleet cannot track down one man. A citadel fleet could secure the entire region, keep the Geth from attacking any more of our colonies. Or it could trigger a war with the Terminus systems. We won't be dragged into a galactic confrontation over a few dozen human colonies. I can take Saren down. The commander's right. There is a way to stop Saren that doesn't require fleets or armies. No, it's too soon. Humanity is not ready for the responsibilities that come with joining the Spectres. You don't have to send a fleet into the Traverse, and the Ambassador gets his human spec. Everybody's happy. Hey, Commander Shepard, step forward. <laughs> yep, time to kick some ass. It is the decision of the council to be granted all the powers and privileges of the special tactics and reconnaissance strategy. Spectre is not trained, but chosen. Individuals forged in the fire of service and battle. Those whose actions elevate them above the rank of fire. Spectres are an idea, a symbol, the embodiment of courage, determination, and self-reliance. They are the right hand of the Council, instruments of our will. Spectres bear a great burden. They are protectors of galactic peace, both our first and last line of defense. The safety of the galaxy is theirs to uphold. You are the first human spectre, Commander. This is a great accomplishment for the world of the I'm honored, Council. <laughs> We're sending you into the Traverse after Sarah. He's a fugitive from justice, so you are authorized to use any means necessary to apprehend or eliminate him. I'll find him. This meeting of the Council is adjourned. Congratulations, Commander. Yeah. You've got a lot of work to do, Shepard. You're going to need a ship, a crew, supplies. You get access to special equipment and training. You should go down to the Sea Center Academy and speak with the Spectre Requisition Center. Anderson, come with me. I need your help to set all this up. Hey, yup.
Commander Shepard here with the Alliance Military. First time on the Citadel, that about right? How did you know all that? I'm the CSEC Requisitions Officer. I need to make sure our buyers are authorized. So, will you be purchasing anything today, Commander Shepard? Show me what you've got. Sounds good. Just let me set you up. Well, this must be a mistake. System telling me to offer you our select stock. Inspector. Well, I heard about that, but I didn't realize it was you. Sorry, Commander. Just show me what you've got. I'll open the rare stocks for you, Commander. Enjoy. <laughs> Enjoy. Well, max money anyway. Alright, that's done. Go find Rex. You. You, Milton. You the one they call Shepard? Yes, it is. That's me, Commander Shepard. The name's Rex. The Shadow Broker paid me a lot of money to get rid of this. Only you got there first. Sounds like I did your job for you. When I get paid to do a job, I finish it alone. I don't like where this is going. But I didn't finish this job, Shepard. You did. So the payment is yours. You're going to pay me for getting rid of this? <laughs> I won't take credit for someone else's work. I transfer the payment into your account. I like the way you handle fist. Now I hear you're going after Saren. I was thinking I should come along. Well, thank you with us, Rex. Smart move, Shepard. Docking Bay. In light of the recent attack on Eden Prime, many colonial investors are pulling their support for future projects. Proponents of expanded human colonization insist that Eden Prime was an isolated case. Nevertheless, colonist enrollment has dropped sharply. Many colonial proposals are on hold until backers have some reassurance that human colonies will be adequately protected. I've got big news for you, Shepard. Captain Anderson is stepping down as commanding officer of the Normandy. The ship is yours now. She's quick and quiet, and you know the crew. Perfect ship prospector. Feed a whip. I'll take good care of her, sir. I know you will. What kind of leads do we have? Sarah's gone. Don't even try to find her. But we know what it's after. The convoy. He's got us get scouring the traverse looking for clues. We had reports of Get at the Ferro system shortly before our colony there dropped out of contact, and there have been sightings around Noveria. Find out what Saren was after on Ferro's in Noveria. Maybe you can figure out where the conduit is before he does. Anything else? We have one more lead. Matriarch Benezia, the other voice in that recording. She is a daughter, a scientist who specializes in the Protheans. We don't know if she's involved, but it might be a good idea to try and find her. See what she knows. Her name's Liara, Dr. Liara Tassoni. We have reports she was exploring an archaeological dig on one of the uncharted worlds in the Artemis Tau Cluster. Sounds like we should head for the Artemis Tau Cluster. It's your decision, Commander. You're a specter now. You don't answer to us. Your actions still reflect on humanity as a whole. You make a mess and I get stuck thinking about it. I'll try not to make things any harder on you, Ambassador. Glad to hear it, Commander. Remember, you were a human long before you were a specter. I have a meeting to get to. Captain Anderson can answer any questions you might have. Yeah, that's it. I'm done.
Decontamination progress. Heard what happened to Captain Anderson. He survives a hundred battles and gets taken down by backroom politics. Just watch your back, Commander. If things go bad on this mission, you're next on the chopping block. Sarah's up there somewhere, and we're gonna find her. Everyone on this ship's behind me, Commander, 100%. Intercom's open. You got anything you want to say to the crew? Now's the time. This is Commander Shepard speaking. We have our orders. Find Saren before he finds the convoy. I won't lie to you, crew. This mission isn't going to be easy. For too long, our species has stood apart from the others. Now it's time for us to step up and do our part for the rest of the galaxy. Time to show them what humans are made of. Our enemy knows we're coming. When we go into the Traverse, Saren's followers will be waiting for us. But we'll be ready for them, too. Humanity needs to do this. Not just for our own sake, but for the sake of every other species in Citadel space. Saren must be stopped. And I promise you all, we will stop it. Well said, Commander. Captain will be proud. <laughs> Captain gave up everything so I could have new chance. We can't fail.